Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we just are doing a reading for the collective general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is for Thursday, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and read off whatever identifiers I see, okay? Uh, this could be you or them. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra, Aries, Sag, Sagittarius, Taurus, <laughs> Scorpio, Leo, Okay, um, the letter I, the letter N, and they actually came in succession of I, N, so something maybe might be coming in, <laughs> something having to do with inside, <laughs> okay. Um, you also have the year of the horse, the year of the dog, you have dog again. Um, numbers, you have a main male, okay, someone that's high school educated, GED might be involved, a millennial might be involved. Someone from the past, um, they could have children, although I'm not seeing that. It could just be someone you've known since childhood, okay? Seems like somebody that's kind of stayed away for a while or had an issue with a while with something having to do with um, this Three of Pentacles here, which I get the vibe that maybe there's some sort of decision or problem in court over maybe like, I don't know, I got a couple things from it. Maybe there's a, a past partnership thing that's coming back around to get some justice right that's being manifested in um i also get a sense that you know maybe somebody had been piss poorly manifesting right with magic and purchase in the reverse there uh, but i could also see this as being like student loan debt or something even too okay because it does a long time here someone's married okay i can sense that with the four wands here Showing up with the main male, okay? You also have protection from a powerful friend. So friend, dog, and forces working against you, acts. As far as numbers are concerned, 1st January, 23, 5th, 5th May, 35, 8, 8th August, okay? You definitely have fours coming out first, so you are protected, okay? April uh, 4th. 43, 7, 7th, July, 46, 10, also breaks down to a 1, but 10, 10th, October, okay? So that might be some identifiers of who you're dealing with in this situation or what external energy is with what external energy around you to be on the lookout for, okay? Seems like you might be directly influenced by this energy, but you're protected, okay, just now. They could be just, this could be gossip easily could be just you know some you know shadiness in the background too doesn't necessarily absolutely have to be magic or dark magic or anything but the magician it could be it could very well be all right that's definitely focus ambition driven determination kind of energy and i'm trying to talk sharp that's what i thought it said snarp <laughs> too funny so you have the main male in court, so obviously something's been decided, right? There has been a decision. It's taken a long time. You've got a long road. This could also be long distance as an um, identifier as well. Then you have a lot of fire energy here, okay? The four of wands, that could be happy home, something celebratory, which also leads off with the three of cups. This energy could have very well been an independent energy, or you maybe have been independent of this energy for a while. Um, you also have the Six of Wands, which like you've got for victory going on here. A sense of completion, all right? And especially moving on from a situation, Two of Wands. And that could also just be your guidance as well. The key nearby is a certain augury of success. Surrounded by an unlucky card, which this is, it could be illness, but take that how it resonates. It could be mental health as an issue, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical thing. Could also be emotional health. I'm seeing cups here, so it's possible. Uh, definitely some sort of instability with this energy, okay? It's just a little difficult to identify. It could be more tangible than that, all right? But you do have a railroad here forecasting a long journey. So it could be, it may have been a very long time, and now you're about to get some resolve with it, okay? So I went ahead and pulled a card from the Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle deck for you for your guidance, all right? And you have the death card. So yeah, definitely whatever this is, it needs to end. 
it's going to end. You're going to have an ending. Just you'll have a chance to not have to deal with it anymore. Okay. Uh, so maybe there's some last minute fine tuning from the universe here. Iku is the name of the death card here. Okay. It's all about transformation. Iku rides in and clears away the old to make space for a new vibration to come in. Without Iku, the cycle would never be complete. Iku is death in the Yoruba tradition. But death is not the end. The flag symbolizes creation in the light spirit body, which continues endlessly as Iku rides through the veils of time space. The Pegasus symbolizes this ability to fly to the ends of time and space, resulting in true freedom. It has mastered getting beyond the self and carries Iku at the time of humanity's greatest need, rebirth. So you have new beginnings coming out of this, right? You might have to heal a little bit, manifest a little bit of that, right? Uh, do some more self-love. That could be the magic needed to be flipped a little bit here too, okay? Cannabis flowers and leaves sprinkle the ground as offerings left by many spirits before who have accepted the change. If you accept Iku when she appears in a spread, you are fully free to release something and step into the new light. It is okay to mourn and grieve the things of the past, but you must create your future when Iku arrives and says it's time to move on. If Iku shows up for you, it is time to consider. Do I run programs of the past more than those of the future? Do I know how to embrace the unknown? So this may have been something that has just been very important in life for a while, right? Uh, this person, this situation, whatever this is, right? And now it's time to kind of release it because it served its purpose <laughs> with you, right? You got to make room for good energy, all right? No more of this happening in your life, right? Maybe that had been a thing of the past for you, all right? There you go. Have a good one. Bye.